Hey everybody, good morning, Danny Shea in a little hot and humid Central California. Could be worse, I could be in Texas. All right, day one, no Mr. Mm -mm head. Not gonna talk about him. So, um, but I am gonna do some politics. So today what I want to read on is, um, well, we'll do a card of the day and, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. I got some things I want to look at. So the card that I pulled was unfinished business. And I went, unfinished business? What is that? And so immediately I went to Mr. Head and I went, I can't read on that. So I thought, you know, and I'm thinking to myself, I said, I said, self, <laughs> if you mention his name or talk about him or read on him, then you should like have, you know, a little, I don't know if punishment's the right word, but you know, maybe you should give away a reading and that's not punishment. That's, that's joy. So if I slip and talk about then I will give away a free reading. And I'm not quite sure how I will do it yet. I'll pull a card and whatever the number is, blah, I don't know. So unfinished business. And I go, okay, so what is that about? And I keep thinking it's unfinished business. And you know what it is? Unfinished business. Yeah, unfinished business. <laughs> You're not gonna get rid of me. Well, you know, I think I am. So, I'm gonna take this little box. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh no! Oh yeah! And I'm taking him and in the box. Oh, help me! Uh-uh. Oh! And just to make sure, because sometimes he is sneaky, you know? He's really sneaky and trying to, trying to make this not be so loud. There, there. Did I do it? No, I didn't. Hang on. Okay. Still there. Okay. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Let's take a look. That feels good. All right. Let's take a look at Starlink. Elon Musk's ship, spaceships. So being on the Central Coast, we are fortunate enough to have um, a launch pad that shoots off Starlink, that launches Starlink um, satellites. And I see all the pollution and I go, yikes. Well, let's do a little bit of research on it. Starlink, there are 5,000, currently 5,000 satellites in low Earth orbit spinning around Earth. And these satellites are producing broadband, are, are allowing us to access broadband internet. If you buy the little white satellite dish that I see when I'm out camping and I'll be out there with no cell service and somebody will have their little satellite thing and streaming news or whatever. And it's just like, really? That's, that's not... It's not the purpose of camping, but um, anyway. So they have an approval from whoever for 12,000 satellites. So they're gonna put more up there. They are asking for an additional 
third, not additional, but a total of 30,000 satellites to circle low Earth orbit to allow broadband internet. And I go, I, I looked it up, what are they doing it for? Oh, for, you know, gaming and video <laughs> communication, yeah. I mean, it was good. The Ukraine used them a lot. Um, Elon Musk helped them out a little bit, um, or the company did. So, um, you know, it, it can be used for good. Yes, yes, yes. But is there a better way? Which that's what I want to ask. I want to ask the ET cards, and I'm going to use my contact cards to see is there a message that we should be getting with this? I keep thinking of all the pollution. There have been 554 launches. A couple of them have been unsuccessful. A few. Um, I think they have like 150, around 150 successful ones. So a very few have not, have, have malfunctioned. Um, but they produce 116 tons of pollutant in 165 seconds. What? So that's kind of that's kind of cray. So I want to use the contact cards and I want to ask um, our galactic friends out there. Do we have a better, is there a better way that we should be doing this? You know, what do you guys think of all this? And I'm not asking my Galactic Heritage cards, and that is, and in that the Galactic Heritage deck, that's all about how there are um, civilizations before that have gone through this transition that we're going through right now. Um, that they could give us some information too, but I'm just asking the contact cards, ET. When you look at this right now, what are you saying? What do you? What's the message for us? And for those of you who are unfamiliar with this deck, there are um, five different cards. We have the planets, stars, ships aliens, and crop circles. Um, the planet is the environment. The stars are the enlightenment, the message. The ships are delivering the message, how, how we get it. Aliens, well, they are the, the people, the person seeking knowledge, and it also represents energy. And then the crop circles are certainly the message that we, that we need to hear. So let's take a look. What do the crop circles, what, I'm sorry, what does contact, the contact cards have to say about Elon Musk and his crazy company shooting all these spaceships, all these satellites into low Earth? Okay. Ooh, ready? Oh, okay. So the first card we get is the alien card. This is all about us thinking how smart we are. And of course, we are the smartest people on the planet, the smartest living thing on the planet, and how did we get that de designation? Well, we gave it to ourselves. Good for us. I got, I'm giving myself an award. <laughs> Crazy. All right. So what's at the base of the reading that we need to pay attention to a little bit is lightning strikes. We're doing something. We're sending these things up there that we're really not that smart. <laughs> we're putting all this pollution up there. We're covering the planet. And how many did they want? 30,000? 
of these little satellites, what's that going to do to the uh, reflection to the sun coming into the planet? Probably nothing, but probably doesn't mean nothing. Just like the pollution isn't really the cause of our global warming. It's just a little bit of it, but every little bit of it has an impact. So we're not, we're not getting, we're not prepared at all for what is going to be happening. Um, the next card moving into, into the center of the reading was Neptune. And this is all about our imaginations and our emotions. And it's interesting, the imagination and emotion keywords. So we have an imagination that, oh, let's send, let's send broadband out to everybody. Let's send communication out to everybody. Sometimes that communication is not what we need. What we need is more of a ground-based communication, communication with the rock people, the tree people, Mother Earth, not up there. We'll see. We'll see what else, what other cards come up. At the top of the reading, which is um, some more messages coming from the contact cards, and it's the hermaphrodite. And in that in that the hermaphrodite is more about harmony. It's it's not about um, um, one side versus another, because the one side and the other side are the same. They're part of the same um, organism, I guess. Right? So there's got to be, there's got to be harmony in, in coming together on that. And r r with this lightning strike, I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think that we're getting there right now. And the last card that we get, look at that, Bradbury Castle. And that, that is all about body, mind, and spirit. It's all about harmony and coming together. We're not paying attention to the whole thing. We're focused on space, but we're not focused on everything we got. The, the whole the unit of it. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to use um, this, my, uh, my, my Light Seer's Tarot. Let's take a look at what that lightning strike is all about. Um, lightning strike for Lightning strike for all these satellites we're putting up into space. And I'm not getting that it's any kind of communication thing. Um, it's, let's just see, what is it? What is this lightning strike about? What does that mean? Is it like the end of the world as we know it? this up. Tower. What is the lightning strike? Hold on, everybody. The Emperor. Let's just keep going and then let me figure out where we are with this. Help me out, guys. Help me out. Okay. 
Yikes. All right. You thought what I put in the box was bad for us? So we have the tower card and it's being covered by the emperor. And so when we're looking at our planet, who would the emperor be? Creator? So not, not that I think that creator is, uh, um, is a Catholic God that says vengeance, my evangelical cousin. He is a firm believer that, that we have a vengeful God. I don't. Um, so I just think that this emperor card is overseeing the tower moment. And let's, let's just keep going. We have the Knight of Swords. Um, this is at the base of the reef. Let me drop this down. You guys can see what I'm looking at. Come on now. There we go. My do, new really expensive deck of cards. Fournier. Anyway. Um, tower moment covered by the creator. We have the Knight of Swords. We have trying to get on a, a vessel, a vehicle that is going to bring truth, that's going to bring some kind of uh, new, new awareness to us. Um, we're not there. We're just running to get on it. In the past, as it relates, is the Three of Pentacles. And in this deck, I just see that the, the stoplight, I know that the, um, the lights are not in the right order for a stoplight, but that's what I see. It's like th there's a, a cautionary tale when you come up to a stoplight and intersection. It's like, hey, be aware of what's going on. And then at the top of the reading, we have the Ace of Cups. This is all about new, um, a, a, a new emotional start, a new um, heart-centered way forward that we're trying to come for, uh, bring about. But then we have the Four of Swords. This is like this isn't the Rider Waite Four of Swords where it's you're in a you're you're in a sarcophagus, a coffin, um, where you if you sat up you'd get stabbed in the head with a sword. This is a, to me this is a, take a time out, and here we have a heart down here, and um, this goes back to this heart space card. We've got to reconnect with our heart space. We have a lot of back and forth. This is good. This is not good. Blah, blah, blah. We have the nine of swords. A lot of worry about this tower moment. And it goes back to global warming for me on this card, this five of wands card. There is no global warming. There is global warming. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and we're worried in the hopes and fears. We have the nine of cups. We get the wish card. So what are we wishing for? What is it that we are wishing for? We have the 10 of swords. This 10 of swords is not being st stabbed into the back, but being shown a new a new way to be, a new frontier is what I just heard. Um, letting go of some old things moving forward. And th this, it's not painful. It's just let it go. Let it go. And then we get, it's just the world, and then we get a new world. And to me, this card 
Oh, it's the wheel. I'm sorry, the wheel of fortune. That, I thought it was the wheel. Anyway, it's karmic. Let it go. We're moving towards something new, a new way of being. But right now, we've got the Eight of Swords. We're all tied up. We're not, we're looking at ourselves in the mirror with restrictions. We're not looking at ourselves it, as this freedom card or as this freedom card. I know I'm saying the Ten of Swords is a freedom card, but that freedom card is what the Emperor wants for us. So I still don't know what the tower moment is, um, except that we really need to be more heart-centered in our decision-making process versus um, financial gain, financial whatever, whatever, whatever um, this, this SpaceX um, mission is all about. I mean, they can say it's one thing, but it may be something else. And well, let's ask that before I get to Tubyville, SpaceX. What's this mission all about? Is there something that we don't know? They say it's for broadband access, gaming. Yeah, people who don't have internet, they want a game. They want to play Dungeons and Dragon, Fast and Furious 5. Okay. Checkers. See those? I, I just imagine two old guys sitting on a porch playing checkers. All right. Is there something hidden in SpaceX that we're not aware of, that we should be aware of? Oh, look, I got the Knight of Swords again. Some fast moving new truth. We're not there yet. And we're gonna be battling over it. It's gonna be like, oh, hell no. Ooh, illusion, delusion goes back with that five of wands, like you said this, no, you said that, you said this. Yeah, so there, in the past, it's like the 10 of cups, everything's good, everything's great, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the top of the reading, it's like, no, it's not so great, five of cups, it's sadness, there's loss. And in the potential near future, look at that, three of cups. Look at the stars up there. There is, it's going to be okay. I mean, it's going to be okay, right? I think what, I, I think there was ETs looking out for us and saying, eh, you, you guys going a little too fast. I'm just going to keep going. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Page of Cups reversed. Ooh, hopes and fears. And then I got the Two of Swords. We need to make a decision on this. And we're getting kind of wrapped up. Um, the final outcome is great. So we have the Two of Swords uh, making a blind choice. We're just going up there. We're not really aware of what we're doing up there. But then we have the Magician. Something's going to happen that's going to create magic, that's going to change something. And when I said, yeah, maybe we're getting um, help from our ET friends, I get the star card. That tower moment is we are going to be made more aware of our galactic friends. And some people are going to be really scared. 
and some people are going to um, embrace it and some people are going to deny it. So am I reading this right? I'm going to ask the question. Are we going to be made aware, those who choose to look, those who choose to accept, are we going to be made more aware of our galactic friends in the near future in regards to SpaceX and the tower moment? Hmm. Three cards. Two of Wands. Look where the earth is. Look where she's looking out. And then she's surfing too. She's getting ready to go surfing in the ocean where there's lots of star beings in the ocean. And, and I say that for those of you who aren't familiar with the deck, this is also the three of wands down here where this woman is looking, uh, she's got her surfboard and she's looking at the ocean ready to go surfing. So that's, that's what prompted that comment from me. But there's a decision that needs to be made. She's looking out into the distance, into the sky. And then we have the Emperor card, which is the Creator card for me in this reading, right? And then we have the King of Swords. So the question was, if I can remember it, um, are we going to become more aware of ETs in this tower moment? Creator says yes. And they're powerful. They're powerful. Um, and it's the truth. The King of Swords bringing in the truth. But we have to look. Okay, I'm going to look at Tuberville. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I did say that. Okay, I, I was going to pull another deck of cards, but um, this one just happened to be right there. This is my five cent tarot deck. This is an interesting deck for me because... Um, just to show you what it looks like. It's very busy, very busy. It also has keywords on it. You can see them up there for right side up, upside down. This happens to be the King of Cups and it looks like it's some kind of beetle with big pinchers. So, um, king, oh, I'm sorry, King of Pentacles. King of Buttons with pinchers. Okay, so Tuberville, Coach Tuberville. You know, I always thought that um, we should have coaches in um, our, our government, running our government until Tuberville. And the reason I thought that I was thinking that is because coaches work with any person that has the ability to play the game. If you can play, then you're on the team. Those who can't play are either back up offering advice or they are part of the team in another way, support staff. So they're working with just everybody, all colors, all nations. It doesn't matter until Tuberville. And I'm thinking of like Phil Jackson of the LA Lakers, because when I was in LA, he came along um, and coached to a couple of world championships. 
not to say that they're perfect or anything. And the more we hear, the, the more we know that they're really flawed. But if you're a good coach, you're, you're looking at the whole picture on how to succeed, how to win, which that's a whole nother topic that we can go into winning or losing. And is it right or wrong? Does it help or not help? But if you have somebody that has the whole picture in their mind, offense, defense, how do you go when you're down? How do you get back up? How do you keep going? What's the mindset? Blah, blah, blah. But Tupperville, he's the guy that is holding up all of the military promotions. And this is, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, um, I am, I'm not one for war. I'm not one for making more bombs, more guns. I think more bombs, more guns kill more people. So I don't think that's the right answer. Star Trek phasers, stun them. Yeah, yeah, I gotta pull my Star Trek deck out. Got to. That was a whine, I just whined. I gotta do that. This is a no whining zone too, by the way. He just whined, uh-oh. Do I have to give a free reading? Did that count? I don't think it did, did it? No. Maybe, you, you guys let me know. Those of you who are still watching at 31 minutes. Okay, Tuberville. So the thing is that, that these um, Republicans, a lot of them, and and just be and because the, the the normal ones are not speaking up, they're part of it. Then, so a lot of these Republicans are trying to tear down the systems instead of working within the systems to make them better. Now, I've thrown away readings before. I go, that was just way too stupid. The one I did right before this, I was like so scattered, I know. Even more scattered than right now, yes. And, and I said, let's start all over again. So there is that. However, I don't think it's the time for it. I think it's time to work within the system. And and if you're going to throw it away, at least have a plan on what you want to build. They don't have a plan. They just want to stop this. And it's all for um, giving women the right to their health care. That's what this is all about. And so why women aren't more... Um, up in arms about this, and, and I'm talking about the Republican women, why they aren't like speaking out more? And why isn't this a bigger thing? It's just not the promotions, because they say, well, you know, we have acting people, but it degrades the whole purpose of, um, of, of your work ethic. What am I working for? These knuckleheads don't even care if um, for my family's well-being and want to see me succeed, they want to put me on hold. They want to put me on the back burner. Lives are being disrupted, military lives. They're the ones that are trying to defend us. And they go, we can't count on our leaders, the Senate. To, to have our backs. And that's what military is all about. I got your back. I got gotcha. you. And our government 
right now is failing. We don't have their backs. Now we're big enough that we can work around this, but I think this is causing huge harm. And what the card flew out was four swords. And you can, what this is, it's hard to read it, so I will um, try to show you what this is. This is the card right side up. So you have this creature um, hanging by its tail upside down. Um, it doesn't look like an opossum. Um, and it's unrest, it's confinement, it's burnout. Tommy Tuberville. And that's what he's doing. Let's just do three and then I'm gonna drill into the question. Um, Seven of Cups, illusion, delusion. This is possibilities, wishful uh, thinking, fantasies, confusion. Um, he's confused on what he's doing. And we have the Three of Wands, which is obstacles, frustration, and a block. It says creative block. I don't know if he's got anything creative in there. All right, so we see the frustration, we see the blocks, we see the confusion that this is causing. Is this situation going to be resolved in the near future? Is he just trying to hurt the Biden administration? Tommy Tumber Tuberville, Tuberville. Why isn't he looking at the whole picture? Is this going to be resolved? Help me out. Help us out, those who want to know. Is this going to be resolved? Four matches. Celebration. Four of matches, four of wands. Celebration, achievement, harmony. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is something new. And I do read these cards reverse because, well, they're upside down in this deck. Um, lost opportunity, scarcity. Oh, please, I do not want a tower moment card. And we got the judgment reversed card, which is self-doubt, resistance, indecision. Judgment reversed. Let's keep drilling down on this and just see if we can get an answer. We got the Injustice card. We've got the Eight of Matches, Eight of Wands, Acceleration, Moving Forward. And then we have the Seven of Needles, Seven of Swords, sneaking into camp, leaving somebody defenseless, taking what they need. Um, it feels like, and, and these cards are somewhat confusing to me, this whole deck is, um, but it feels like when I look at this, that there's going to be minor um, celebrations that they are doing workarounds. Uh, Lloyd Austin said the same thing, yet we are doing workarounds. But this seven of needles, this seven of swords, that where the, the spy sneaks into camp, takes a lot of the defenses and leaving leaves the camp defenseless, not completely, but still. Um, and that's what this is. Confession, cowardice, conscious, the guy doesn't have it. Okay, I'm gonna use another deck. And now it's said to keep using this one. Okay. Are the Republicans gonna start seeing this? 
are enough going to start seeing this so that we can bring our militaries, our military families back to um, where they can get promotions. Three cards. And I just heard six. Okay. Wish they'd make up their minds. Three cards. Military families. The Republicans are enough Republicans going to say, stop. You've made your point. And maybe it's the Biden administration that needs to cave in. I don't know. Let's look at the Republicans, then we'll look at Biden. Seven of buttons, seven of pentacles, aimless. Aimless. Eight of cups, inner journey, walking away. Are they walking away from Tuberville? Are they just walking away? They need to go on, they're aimless now. They need to go on an inner journey. I said six, so let's keep going. Um, they got the hanged man. They're taking a look at it from another perspective. They're letting go. Um, in the past, as it relates, is the temperance card trying to find balance? No, they're at an imbalance. They see this at the top of the reading <laughs> is the balancing act, the two of pentacles. Look at this. So in the past, we have imbalance at the top of the reading we have balancing act. So they're trying to figure this out. I did this reading before and I got the same thing. They're trying to balance this out. What do we do? Do we, do we piss off these people then? And the final outcome at the top of the reading, Ace of Cups, change of heart. Ace of Cups reversed, change of heart. Yes, they are going to flip around. I don't need to read on Biden changing. He shouldn't. This is all about women's health care. That's all he's fighting for, to be, to be Bill. All right, um, before I go, before I go, final card, using return to spirit. I'm hearing the guy in the box going, let me out. Not letting him out. Let me out. Nope. I'll be good. Nope. <laughs> okay. Did that count? All right. You guys let me know how many free readings I have to give from today. I say none, but you may disagree with me. We'll see. Okay. Final card for us to walk away with. Manifest. Beautiful. When we think of all the crap that's going on, we are manifesting more crap. When we think of what we want, to happen, what we want to create for ourselves, then we do. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.